The Texans have made a trade. We're going to lay this out for you here, all right? We're going to lay it out. It's a draft pick trade. The Texans have traded the 23rd pick in the draft and a 7th round pick to the Minnesota Vikings for the 42nd pick in the draft. That's an early second rounder. The 188th pick in the draft, which by my math is probably with all the compensatory picks, a 5th or 6th rounder. And then the big thing they're getting is a second round pick, the Vikings second round pick next season. So the Texans are now picking in this draft. Not They don't pick until 42 now. They don't have a first round pick, but they are picking twice in the second round. And they've now got two second round picks next season. So this is, this is a, I, I would say this is like a, this is a, this is the move of a team that is now implementation phase. Where, okay, we don't feel this pressure where we've got to get elite, elite guys in the first round. We need players to go around this core that we're building. There's only so many first-round picks that you can ultimately end up paying if you're keeping all of them on second contracts as well. That might be something, Seth, that's factoring in to all yeah. this. Is like, okay, I mean, we've, I know one of them's not working out when it comes to Kenyon Green, but, man, Derek Stingley Jr. sure looks like he's going to get a big deal someday. We know C.J. Stroud and Will Anderson are going to get big deals some days, and there's at least one or two, you know, Tank Dell, um, Nico Collins, other guys, et cetera. Um, this is almost, I got a text from a buddy who said, this is like the anti-Bill O'Brien move. <laughs> like, you know, Bill O'Brien was all about rushing to go get the, the thing that made you feel good in the immediate right, right. moment. Yeah, uh, yeah. Man, Bill O'Brien had no problem trading first-round picks. That we know. But it was for instant gratification. This is not an, people who like instant gratification are, are not going to like this move, I think, in general.